Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to the Outer Worlds. One of the games in which I personally really, really like. In my opinion, um, I believe it's like a Fallout-like kind of thing. It's the way that I see it, you guys could see it differently, but that's kind of the way that I see it. Um, we're starting a little late today. A, a little bit, a couple hours late. I'm a little late, I'm sorry. But um, I had a couple things that I had to do. So we're starting a, another new game. I know. You got ReCore already coming out. But, you know, with Monster Hunter Rise, the story at least kind of at an end. Kind of. For the time being, kind of at an end. You gotta put something out. So we're gonna, we're, we're starting Outer Worlds. We're starting a brand new game. As you can see here, I can't, can't do a load. So we're starting from scratch, a new game. And... I don't, I don't have a whole lot to say about this. I, I don't know a whole lot about it. So I, I, I'm ready to jump in with you guys. Jump in the deep end, honestly, and just get right to it. Um, we'll stay on the one. We'll stick on that. Subtitles, yeah. Show bark subtitles. Oh, outside of conversations. I eh, will keep it. It's fine. it's fine. Um, we'll leave it as is for the time being. I think I'll be able to change things in uh in the thingy in the in game in the thingy in game. Why but, stay uh, we'll, we'll see. when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like Yeah, this is definitely minutes. like Fallout Thanks to the life. comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Master of my own destiny, he says. Okay. Okay. What's going on here? What's going on here? What's 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 uh? Show me what's going on in your. Oh my god! Holy shit. Dude, just kick it down. You got legs, don't you? Who are you? Who is that? Phineas Vernon Wells. Huge death. Really? You're a fugitive? Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Is that like a bunch of characters that might look like me? Oh. Excellent cellular integrity. Not likely to liquefy. Shit. Okay. The, this is carrying capacity. I want good. Ranged weapon reload speed. What about regular damage? Um, handguns, long gun. What are long guns? Handguns and long guns. I have five points remaining. One, two, three, four, five. I could just be good in everything. I could be an average Joe. Hmm. What if I don't want to be an average show? 
Alter generation's good. I wouldn't mind having up and crit damage, actually. Yeah, let's go next. I like this. I like this. Skills. I have skill points? You are telling me I have... What is this game? What the hell are long guns? Rifles. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, rifles. Pistols, melee... There's so- oh my god, there's so many! You had a hand in everyone's pocket. I want to have a hand in everyone's pocket. You are going to I feel like I'm gonna be a ranged guy. Friend. I feel like I'm gonna be a ranged guy and I you kinda want- know I kinda want stealth. Sneak, hack, and lockpick. I kinda want lockpick. Off the bat, but no, I don't think that'll be a good idea. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do here. Uh, leadership, blah, blah, blah. Tech. Medical. Side. Mm, eh. Improved. Ooh. You wrote that paper on breeding a cysty pig with 30% more tumors. Oh, this would be so good. Okay, we're gonna go with that. Shh. Determination. Drink effect? We can drink? Um... I want a little hand. I don't want to dip my little hand in everything. And ray damage uh, received. Received. Oh my goodness. I can't even talk. It's so late. Pause. No. Medical. No. Science. One handed melee. No. Um. We're almost. I don't. I don't know what to do. Good. I might go. require you to push a few buttons. Yeah, okay. Uh, Alright, no, now we made it to the character creation. This is where I wanted to be. No, oh, I kind of like the slumber look. Alright. What are we thinking? Gross. Right, this is this is the this is the base look here. What if I just no? This man right here, he looks like the basic white guy. Like this is the one white guy that you see drinking pumpkin spice. Just straight pumpkin spice. Actually, I'm gonna choose this guy. What number are you? Four? No. 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 Eh. I don't know. Number four is pretty good. Or he could be the basic white guy. He could either be this guy. Or the basic white guy. Basic white guy looks pretty good. Can I make you blue? I want you to be blue. Can you be blue for me? Please? Wait, what are- hold on, no, what are all the female faces? Eh, no, 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 eh, actually, that's not bad, no. What number is that, seven? Okay. Nine, no, ten, no, 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 oh, gross. No. How- how did you go from this to this? Like, this isn't bad, but you look like you're depressed. Perfect. Actually, perfect. This is perfect. No, we will be a male. We'll be number. We'll be the basic white guy. You need to look like you at least got some sun. Yeah, this is fine. I can change your eye color. Ooh, can I? 
Yeah, Yo, you look like, look, I genuinely, like, you, you go from, like, this, this is normal, right? This is the normal color. And then you get this. This guy. You got some eye alterations. For sure. Guaranteed. Like, look at that. There's little diamonds in his eyes. What happened? Okay, not gonna lie. I'm not normally a green guy, but wow, that looks good. Ooh, what's what's this one? Twenty three. Remember that twenty three. We need to know twenty three. Twenty three. We're actually, yeah, twenty three. You're number twenty three today. Uh, yeah, you get some normal eyebrows. Wait, are you telling me that I can make an abomination? <gasps> no. No, we're not going to do that. Like, I can make an abomination, but I'm... Right, I can't make it as an abomination as I wanted. I just give you like the biggest eyes. No. Uh, I kind of like the way you look right now. To be fair, to be honest with you. Oh, you had red hair this whole time. Look how glistening that is. That's so nice. Also, number three looks pretty good. Not for this face though. I almost want to make it check, honestly. Fuck no. Can I make you bald? <gasps> I can! Give him like a buzz. Yo, your nose is huge. Hold on, where's your nose? Let me, can I change your nose? Dude, your nose is gigantic. Like, you did not need that. See, that looks better. That looks way better. Not too much. Right about here. Oh, come down a little bit. Not too much, right here, yeah. You can thicken out your cheeks? No, I'm just kidding. I'm actually gonna make them smaller. Yeah, 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 we're making a, we're making a styling guy. Hold on. What kind of cut do you want? Hmm. What kind of dude? Your your hair is so glistening. Like genuinely. No, not this one. You don't need to be Einstein. It's okay, we'll get you the right cut. I promise. Probably. Don't trust me. So this is the normal look. I don't like this one. This is like way too much. Dude, your hair color like needs to change. I could have sworn black was in here somewhere. Is this it? No, that's like a brown. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Did I pass it? No, but this looks pretty cool. Is this black? Dude, there's no way that this is black. Look how glistening red that is. Yeah, yeah, we're playing Outer Worlds today. Like, look how glistening red this is. I, I almost, I don't want to make a dude anymore. I'm gonna be honest. You know what? You're gonna be a chick. We're gonna play with the chick. I need a new face. That three's kind of cute. But we want you to be more than just kind of cute. Actually, I kind of fuck with three. Yeah, I kind of fuck with three. Three's kind of good. 
Why are all of your noses so big? It it's not even that huh? What? Why do you have such a giant you know what it's the eyes, it's gotta be. You need some like normal looking eyes. Dude, what is up with your eyes? Can I change your eye size? Hold on. Uh, horizontal. Oh. Here. Yeah. Yumi, Yumi, help me out. Help me out here. What, what are we? What are we doing with this character? Cause I, I, I don't know. What Kind of thing. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, but you gotta be a dude now. Damn. Yeah, no, you get facial hair, dude. Isn't that great? Where's black? Wait. No, that's purple. Right there, number 41. Is that the same for you? Number 41. Yes, it is. I've done it! I've cracked the code! Yes! Alright, now your eyes. Oh, I can make them white! Oh, perfect. I need hair. You need hair that actually like goes with it. It's like too dark in here. I need a different background. <gasps> Ooh, no, that doesn't match your face though. I'm sorry, dude. Like I need to, I need to pick out everything that matches for this face and then change the face. It's dude. You have such a gigantic forehead. That's why this doesn't go for you. You have like more than a six head. That's why this doesn't work. You need help. Yeah, no, this looks about right, right? Yeah. No. It's gotta be like, it's gotta be one of these. It's the face, I swear it's the face. Oh, gross. I'm trying here, man. I swear. <laughs> Can I make you a dwarf? Let me make you a dwarf. Wait, let me make a dwarf. Can I choose how tall you are? Oh my god, are you gonna make up? What the fuck happened to you? Like, you got face paint in here? Dude, this is like, this is like the kind of makeup you'd expect a stripper to wear, I swear. Don't at me. Don't at me right now. Don't at me for that. Don't you dare. Can I... How old do you want to be? How, how old do you want to be, my guy? Be old? No. I'm gonna be young as fuck. <laughs> I need a face. I need a face. We need we need a 15. This one. This looks the best out of all of them, actually. Surprisingly enough. With this, yep, yep, with this, yep, yep, mm -hmm, with this hair, yep. Now you need a scar. He needs a battle scar. What kind of battle scar are we going for here? You need a battle scar. No, no, I don't eat burned. What happened to you? What happened to you for you to like have? Hold on, where is it? I did I skip it. What happened to you for this to happen, huh? Like who burned you? Who just lit a torch and put it to your face? Like genuinely, who hurt you? What? Why, do you, dude? It's like somebody just carved out a like part of your skin and said, "Yeah, this is you for the rest of." Oh my god. 
Off much? Jesus. Yeah, no, you get to be battle scarred. I think this is going to be, yeah, you know what? That's our character. What's your name? Your name is Zero. Because that's what everybody calls me. Next. So, this is our character, guys. How do you like him? You like him? He's a good boy, I swear. He has extra crit damage, though. So, get used to it. This is our boy. Well, let me go back. This is our boy. These are his stats. Well, let's get into the game. Before I decide to, you know, go back and change him. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. So why exactly are you stealing me right now? Hmm? How long did it take me to create that character? Like 20 minutes? Not likely, bootlickers. That actually just take me like 20 minutes to create that one character. Initiate skip jump. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, if you ain't taking like 20, 30, 40 minutes to create a character, you're doing something wrong. Guaranteed. You are doing something wrong. Status. Structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down. <sighs> Game. Shit. Yeah, you can say that again. Wake me up! Wake me oh, up! There you are, wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at Yo, this man is just speed. lied to my face. This means that you and every other colonist on Alp have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, How reviving many? someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is uh -huh. inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! What is going on here? First, he steals me. This man man jacked me. Second, I wake up on his ship and he tells me he pumps my bloodstream full of a uh, mysterious liquid that I have no idea what it is. So I could die at any moment in time. And thirdly, he says I'm being smuggled somewhere? What? Huh? Where are we going? This thing working. Ah. No. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He used to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist, dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... Uh, all the colonists are counting on you. He says that, but I feel like he's like the enemy here. He's like, he's gotta be, right? He's definitely the enemy here, right? 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 Right. 
Okay, well, you know what? I, I crash landed somewhere. Oh, yeah, open that. You, you know how to open the door, right? You know how to open the door that he welded ah, shut. Landed. Good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, oh. no sense. Ooh. Hold on. Controller sensitivity is low. That's just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in letting his ship go to waste. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yep. Hawthorne That's won't much mind better. you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the oh, um. might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Wait, let me let me hit it. Let me I want resources. Alright, so B is the crouch. Yes, yes, teach me the game. Give me a gun. Give me a gun. Give me. Give me a gun. Give me a sword. An axe. A dagger. I'll take anything at this point. What's this? Sure. I don't know what that is, but alright. Oops. I don't think I was supposed to aggro them. I'm gonna die. Hello? Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen. What the fuck just happened? This huh? What the fuck is that? You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stinks. Um. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Um. Huh. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Ha <laughs> ha! ammo. Yes, it works! My side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice Thank weapons you. are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Bruh. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. The uh, Hope? No thanks. Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Thanks for the gun, dude. Uh, 
Ag pack. I have no idea what that is. We're gonna take it. I'll take that too. Should I shoot him? I don't know. I just like you know picked him up, but like he's right there. You know, I already forgot what your name was. I can't. I can't see it. I could end your life right now. You you want me to end your suffering? I can do that. You want me to do that? Ah oh, yes, open your mouth. Take the bullet straight and no, we you know what? We're we're nice. We're gonna be nice. We're gonna Look, it's it's like I It's one bullet. Right? It's just like, you know, I could easily just I could kill him. And nobody will know. He's in a cave. Nobody will miss him. Probably. I, I need to leave before I actually kill this man. Alright, he, he said he gave me a saber. Uh, weapons management. Okay. Tactical time dilation due to complications steaming from being revived after an extended hibernation. Your brain processes time differently. So basically, I can stop time. Cool. They'll never see me. Come here. It's okay. It's o it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Shh. Shh. They'll never see you. It's not like there's anybody else here, anyways. I'll take this, this, and I I I don't know what I'm picking up, but I'll take all of it. Wait, is this worth it? Is that what those mag things were? Hold on, is that what those things were? Armor management, wonderful, great. I have, I have a Marauder helmet on. Um, no, that's, this, this isn't what I, hold on, where, where, where are you? Mag pick, that's what you are. Tool used to pick, oh! Okay. Yeah, we'll pick this lock. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what I just picked up, but you know what? We got lock picking up. I like that. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. Now, uh... Where's everybody else at, huh? You guys have friends, huh? Yeah? Let's see one. Look, man, if you're gonna walk around, I need you to not ever scare me like that ever again. You got that? Good. Now you, I just want you to know, your friend right here, he's about to die because he walked away. And it's all your fault. <laughs> die. Thanks for the pistol. All because you walked away, dude. Wait, where'd he go? What? Oh. Oh, he's about to find that dead body. Come That's unfortunate. What if I don't want to? You know, I'll come out and play. Now I will. 
Don't open fire! What's wrong with you? <laughs> Fuck, you alerted the rest of them! Dude, come on! Let's try to do this stealthily! Damn it! I could have sworn he wasn't gonna move, I swear! Promise! Maybe. Oh, there's got to be more of you guys out here, right? Right? Where's the rest of y'all, huh? Hmm? Hmm? the fuck are you? The fuck is Lieutenant Mercer? Private Kimball? I Kim these balls. Ooh, oh wait. 110, 110. I'm not gonna break it down yet. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Who the fuck are you though? Hmm? Hmm? Who are you? Are you a companion of sort? Hello there. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that run mm. Landing in a veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap them with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Hmm. I saw your hairstyle in the, you know, the creations. How you doing, by the way? You like my beard? Really? How is he? Um, still a moron. I'm hoping you're a little brighter. Wow! Sure I could be done a that. Dick. Spacer's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's mm. Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs, son. Yeah. Um... I guess I'll have to give you a zero on my customer satisfaction. Do I have persuasive five? I don't know. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. Damn right it is! Oh, you have a, you have a gun. Right, I finally get to show you guys how good at shooters I am. Oh, fuck, I missed. Damn! You killed your own guy! Private Kimball, no! Not Kimballs! He was kimming up some balls! You didn't have to do that to him! Also, where the fuck are we? This is Ooh, what's over there? You know, you run surprisingly slow in this game. What? What the fuck? Why are there dead bodies here? Ooh, a shovel. Neat. Thank you. I'll take that too. Oh, well, um. Sorry that you had to die. You got any weapons on you? You, have, you look like you have some pouches. Can I. You know what? You wanna give me that hat? You wanna give me that little hatty hat that you got right there? Hmm? Hmm? 
Oh my god, look at that bullet wound. Ho hold on, look at that. You can actually see into the bullet wound. And it disappears. Okay, never mind. We're gonna run around the ship and uh, see if we can find anything. Because you know what? That's about to be mine. I saw it on the title screen and I'm about to, you know what, just make it mine. I own this bitch. Those things are alive. We're gonna go kill them. Why? Because I can. Ah, this was a bad idea. This was a bad idea. This was a really bad idea. Back where Kimball is still alive. Or dead. You know what? It's fine. I don't care either way. At least he's still Kimming them balls somewhere. <gasps> he's still alive. Hey, I'm about to do get this over myself. Here you get yourself killed. Don't know where Shut you up. came from, strange. Call. I'd slap him with a. Of course I am. You still I'm a superior moron. officer. Stands to reason, don't it? Just you watch. I just... You know. Um... What if I tell you to go down there and get yourself killed? Uh, you know. Here we go. And then let you die. Uh, I just somehow got worse at this game. You sound like you want to die for saying those words. At least that company ammo my ass. Alright, I'm going back over there. We're killing those gorillas. Where you at, you fucking gorilla? Come here. Come here. I got a bullet with your name on it. level of horse we'll figure it out here in a second but I killed him and almost dead where's the other one man don't make me 
I hear you. Oh my god, I actually got him. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my fucking god. Give me a brain. Give me your brains. Yo, we're goaded. We're goaded. We're goaded. We're actually goaded. Let's go. Wait, hold on. There's still another one. The bullets, love it. We have a lot of trip blades, though. That's great. Um, fuck me, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Actually, hold on. Fuck it, apply. The fuck is a trip blade? Well, you know what? We have more than one now, so it don't matter. What does it do? Or what is it? It must be a uh, two-handed. That's kind of neat. Take that. Take that too. I've gotten a weapon modification. Neat. Can you give me more bullets. I need bullets. I need bullets back. Was that? All right. Okay. Ooh, hello. Thank you. We have a Tommy. We have a pistol. We have a sword. And we have this thing. I don't know what this is yet, but you know, it's fine. We have a lot of them. There's so much stuff here. Damn. Can't even loot the dead corpse. Already looted you. Dude, I got I got like two assault rifles just from coming over here. This was worth it. This was so worth it. I didn't think this was gonna be worth, but it was. Fuck yeah! Now if this little bitch tries to repent this you know if you try if you try to shoot me in the back I will slice your throat open Just know that that's what's going to happen okay okay Why do you understand Kimball I can kill you at any moment I just want you to know that okay I like you but you know what I want that hat So maybe I'll kill you for it I won't. I should, but I won't. This is gonna take a lot of paperwork. Settle. 
Is that literally all you have to say? Okay. I guess we'll just go inside then. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. What's upstairs? You know what? I don't want to die. I don't want to die, so j just in case, just in case. Authorized access to so, space bearing vessel. Hello. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Um. You know, I don't appreciate being talked to that way. Okay? Okay? I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Jettison procedures initiated. Disengage the airlocks. Prepare to eject all board in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. Huh? This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable Wonderful. of you are now the registered Captain property Captain of Alex Captain Hawthorne. Ice Zero. Or in other words, Zero. I understand. Damn. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your for patience what? and for your honesty. You're a robot. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered it's a critical zero. power failure Captain and we zero. were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Uh... Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies me, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the unreliable. Do you understand? Damn. Can I rename you? Can I rename you? It is difficult for me to do so. I am programmed to accept best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Okay. I'm gonna look around, okay? Due Don't to try to kill me this power time. Failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. All right, well, there's These surveillance the devices there, so. allow me to monitor you constantly. Please ignore them. It's fine, we're just looking around. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. I see. It's okay, we're looking around. We're just want to be a brand around. new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself. Right before he died. Okay. I am now the owner of the ship. Say, you must this obey have to me. Be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister. 
You owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. What if I just kill you? I'm not going to, but what if I just did? Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. What if I just kill you? I'm not going to, but just like, you know, what if? I could have just, you know, murdered you right here and here, you know? And what were you going to do about it? Nothing. So are we going over there? I feel like we're going over there. I have a feeling we're going over there. I need weapons. Because it's... Oh, that's unfortunate. You made me waste my bullets. Little shithead. I wasn't nice. Making me waste my bullets like that. Where's the where, where's the assassinations? Huh? I wanted to assassinate him. He's going to die like a real something. What's down there? I think there's something down there. Ow. Oh, there's something down there. What are you? Ow! I said I'd to bring it back later. Huh? I just didn't realize until like right now. Oh. Is that a ship? Yeah, you come down here for one thing and then you just find a broken down ship. Hey, you think they got a power regulator in here? Oh, but they definitely have this. Ooh, a sentry saber! Okay, hold on. Look, I get that I'm standing on ground here, right? But, like... Hold on. I don't, I don't trust water. You, you can't tell me to... Okay, understood. I can't go in there. Good. Thank God. I'm so glad that I saved first. Yep, yep, can't go in the water. Good, 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 good. The video game water scares the shit out of me. Every single time. You never, like, genuinely, like, tell me, tell me down in the comments if you're, you know, if you made it this far into the video, which I hope you did. Let me know down in the comments. Are you scared of video game water? And why? Like, what made you scared of video game water? I don't know what made me scared of it. I definitely know what made me scared of it. Shit, scary, dude. I'm telling you. I just want to explore right now. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want to go in there. But I'm only level 2. I don't have a lot of bullets. Um, actually, hold on. Let me open this. Because I don't want this anymore. How do I repair this? Is 
Selecting perks. Oh, base health, tactical time dilation, meter max, damage when alone, when alone in party, walk speed, sprint speed. Um. As much as I would say, like, base health is good, some of these other ones are better. Like, this would be- Oh, you can get encumbered?! No! No! Why?! <sighs> Man... Uh... Um... I want to be a healthy boy, but I want extra damage, but I, I also want to run fast as fuck. Shit. Um. I don't know. Oh my god, I don't know which one to pick. What's a good one to pick? How many points do I need for this? Requires five previous. Per oh, okay, so it. I mean, I guess it does, like, kind of matter what our first one is. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get this first. I don't know if that was the right thing to do, but, you know what, it's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and break this down. And then I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and... Wait, why do you have a diamond on you? Why? Oh, you're pristine. What does that mean? What is what is a pristine one? Um I don't I don't know what that means, but okay. We're going to go we're we're going to go. We're we're going back. We're going. We're going. Oh, what's Whoa, this? Hey. Where'd you come from? Right What's this about? Um, well, you see, what had happened was Damn. I just okay. My bad. Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Um. Your pod. What are you on about? You take a bruise to the cranium. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. They already like kind of don't like me. Just. Fuck. No, I want to be zero. Your zero. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling. I don't want to be Hawthorne. Haw Dude, want if if I wanted to be Hawthorne, I would want to be dumb Junior enough to stand in under for the, the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. That's wonderful. Definitely not the Junior in humor. That's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your... I'll be around if you change your... You definitely ain't asking the right person. So how do I put my weapon away? Is it because it's almost, uh, almost broken? I don't know how to... I don't know how to repair. How do I repair? How do I do the things that I want to do? Where are my controls? Give me my button layout. 
And that is too much blood in the layout. Oh my god. I never thought I'd say this, but like, some games just have too much. Too many buttons that work. Yo, y'all gonna come at me for stealing that shovel again, huh? Hmm? There's nobody in here, right? Should close that door. Hold on, I gotta take a shit. Wait, hold on, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. I, I do want to open that. Bruh, why don't you guys stock your fridges? Stock them! Put food in- No, actually put lock picks in there! It's not good to do it. Don't actually do it in real life. If, if you heard me say that, don't actually fucking do it. That's dumb. But in this game, leave me lockpicks. Don't mind me. Yeah, I'ma just grab some stuff and leave. Thank you, please. They have more durability and are worth more to vendors. Uh, what's the armor on this? Tech skills plus five? What about this? Um, wait, what? What is this? I don't know what that is! What are you? What does the screw mean? Is it cause you're a tool? Okay. I'm just here to steal your shit. I'll take those spades. Alright, y'all got a vendor in here? I got some stoof. I got stoof. And I want to get rid of it. I got, oh, I'm almost out of water. You hear that? I'm almost out of water. I'm almost out of water, guys. I'm almost out of water. I just drank my last sippity sip. Sippity sip, sip, sip. Are you a vendor? Keep your distance, friend. Sick house is no place for a traveler. Down. Y'all sick in here? Sick in the head? A joint actuator. Sure, I'll take that. 
You're not. You're, you're dead, but you don't have anything. I don't know what's going on. One down. I just earned a fine bonus. <coughs> Are you okay? What are you killing these little guys for, huh? They what do the little sprats do to you? Gantina. Are you? Are you I don't know you. Obviously. Amelia Kin. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk here. You really think so? <laughs> That's kind of you. I've been trying. Hmm. Guess I misreckoned you. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be curt. We just got some problems lately. I can get Aww. you a drink if you'd like. Gotta ask you to enjoy your beverage within the premises, though. Can't risk you bringing a drink over to those deserters. You understand. Oh, uh, yeah, I totally understand. Coming right up. Alright, merchant skill. I don't really care about that. I'm here to sell some shit. Uh, weapons, armor, consumables, keep, mods, keep, general, uh, keep, junk. Are these all, like, everything that's junk can be sold, right? How much money do we have? Oh, I can repair things here too. That costs quite a bit to repair though. I'm okay. Well, I found your toilets. All right, don't ever let me find that again. Got it? Got it. Good. Oh, hello there. Is this where you put all your money? You mind, uh... Open up that for me? You don't mind me up back here. I'm actually just gonna take this and sell it back to them. I love the fact that I'm finding all these weapon parts, but I have no idea what to do with them. Extendo sight, sick. What is that used for? No idea. Like I'm finding all this, like you know, little neat little stuff, stuff, stuffy stuff, right? I don't know what to use it for. Right, let's go back downstairs and sell her her stuff back. Oh, I almost forgot. Hey there. We'll get you. Coming right up.
I like I genuinely can't tell you how wide my eyes are open right now. They're like really, really wide open right now. Okay, here's the workbench. The workbench allows you to repair, upgrade, and modify your weapons and armor, keeping you combat ready and in tip top shape at all times. Okay. It takes 13 weapon parts to repair you. That's not worth. Uh, break down. Break down, break down. Break down. What about this stuff? Break down. Break this down too. Alright, what if I modify, like, let's say this pistol for one thing. You're at 76, but you're at 100? What the fuck? Uh... I don't have a whole lot of ammo for you currently, so it's not, I don't think that's kind of worth it at all. Okay, let's, um... Let's actually go over here. Hey, you hear about Wilson? I still don't really know what I'm doing right now. Honestly. Yeah, that doesn't look suspicious at all. Yep, definitely does not look suspicious. Where are you taking me? The grease monkey, Argo? I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small words for me. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson, I think there's someone here to see you. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Let's start over. Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going awry. Well, sure. It's uh, mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. It puts food in cans. We have food, we have cans. Why won't it work like we need? She's expecting Seltuna of a certain size. We're filling the cans with... Well, not fish. Hmm. So, uh, what are you Since we've got a guest. Huh? Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Uh-huh. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I must say, wearing a marauder's outfit is in very poor taste. I do wish you'd show your uniform a little more respect. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Uh-huh. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our So I'm gonna take regulator. it. But I happen to know of another one. 
And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself. What if I just take yours? My proposition benefits the both of us. Please, hear me out. Uh, of course. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the mm -hmm. geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. He said it's mostly abandoned. And then he said once their powers shut down. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. There we go. Uh-huh. I am not trying to pull one over on you, friend. You were I don't believe you. Or later. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Uh huh. Hedgewater is struggling. We haven't hit our production quota in years. If we don't meet our quotas this year, the company might shut us down for good. I need those mm -hmm. workers back at their stations. Shake my goddamn. It's our problem, not yours, but I'm asking for your help. If those workers don't come back, Edgewater is going to collapse. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Of course, I understand completely. Here, let me give you the passcode to the geothermal plant. A sign of good faith for so politely listening to me as I ramble on. Mm -hmm. Are you setting off for the Vale? Because I know my way around. I, I mean, in case you... I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. In what way? Great! I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. All right, we hit level three. We have 10 skill points to use. I would prefer that this would go up some and that this would go up a few more and then actually wait hold on Cause this is technically already at 20. Cause that's with Parvati. I have three points left. Go ahead and do this one. Um. Yeah, this is fun. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. I just want to give you a weapon. Hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. You got a minute? Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... 
Mr. Thompson has his own. No, I'll gladly powers, take you. On account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. Oh. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters mm -hmm. are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Uh huh. Life's hard here, especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Okay. Um... It's getting a little late, so we're gonna end this off here. I just want to do a little bit of an introduction today to the game and try and get us where we are. Um, we're gonna end off in the town for today. The game's fun. I actually really, really like this game so far. I like the weapon designs and everything. The saber, whatever the fuck this thing is. And then this. I, I, so far, I'm really liking it, and I'm really excited to continue going forward with this game. And I hope you guys are too. Expect in the future for some of these videos to get a little longer. This is about an hour and a half. Just an introduction. I think like 20 to 30 minutes is just character creation though. So, I uh, expect it to get a little longer. More action, more exploratory stuff and things of that sort. But I will catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.